You know, I'm a dietetic student and um, studying nutrition. And what we're learning in nutrition class basically is the way to, you know, solve all these health problems or even as simple as weight loss is to cut calories. So my first question to you mm -hmm. is, is a calorie a calorie? You know, if we're having an 800 calorie meal worth of bananas versus perhaps steak or cheeseburgers or whatnot, are they the same? Um, can we really compare the two? Not only, oh, of course, a calorie is not a calorie. The, I mean, in terms of weight loss, right. first of all, I mean, that is kind of the standard uh, recommendation, right? You go on mm -hmm. a calorie cut at night. Uh, you know, portion control, you know, you eat the same crap, but just less crap, and then you lose weight. But, I mean, so in the short term, that works, right? In right. the short term, there's all sorts of ways you can get people to lose weight. Tuberculosis, a cocaine habit, AIDS, chemotherapy, lots right. of ways to lose weight. There's healthy ways, unhealthy ways, then there are sustainable ways right. and unsustainable ways. In the short term, you can lock someone in a closet, they'll lose weight, they, you know, get their calorie, you know, deprived. But for the long term, for the long haul, sustainability... Diets, by definition, don't work because they're time limited. You right. can fit into your bikini or whatever, but then, as long as you go back to your quote unquote regular yeah. diet, so unless your regular diet is a healthy diet, right, is a diet that promotes weight control um, and health, um, then, you know, it's just not going to work for long term. And for long term, that's really what we care about, certainly in the medical profession. Um, and so, and portion control just doesn't work. We have this incredible evolutionary drive. That's like, you know, why abstinence programs don't work uh, to prevent teen pregnancy. Because yeah. we have this incredible biological drive to eat, yep. to drink, to, you know, do all the other right. things that perpetuate our species. And, you know, it's just, uh, I mean, so it works short term, right? Yeah. But uh, long term, one really needs to figure a way to eat fewer calories, but not feel hungry, not feel restricted. And how you do that is by eating calorie dilute foods, meaning for the same volume, mm -hmm. for the same weight, for the same stomach capacity, right. you get more nutrition um, and fewer calories. And how do you do that? Well, uh, whole plant foods are the way to do it. They have fiber and zero calories, so you, all of a sudden you have this bulk, you got no calories at all. Uh, plant foods tend to have a lot of water in them. Mm -hmm. Again, calorie free, but actually bulks up. Right. You know, uh, when you you know when you dry a banana, it shrivels into this teeny little. You know, I mean that's because ninety percent of the banana was water. Yeah. Um, but I mean, to your stomach, your stomach, you get filled up regardless of what's in there. Um, and so you just got fewer calories now. If you had instead try to fill up your you know one liter approximately at about one kind of one quart stomach volume, mm -hmm. you fill that up with, you know, oil, you could, God, you'd get thousands of calories, you yeah. fill that up with cheeseburgers, you fill that up with processed junk food, you know, um, and uh, I mean, you could get, you know, half your, your thousand calories and not even feel full, like one meal, not even, you know, so that's why um, eating kind of a diet centered around whole plant foods is great not only for long-term health because you're just packing in right. the nutrients, uh, but um, good for weight control, kind of as a, as a nice side benefit because there's just not a lot of calories. These are not calorically dense foods. Yeah. In fact, one thing you do find when people switch over, um, uh, you know, some people feel kind of a, a loss of energy when switching over to a healthy plant-based diet. And I mm -hmm. say, well, okay, what are you eating? And they're used to eating the same volume of food. Like they look down at their plate yeah. and like this is what this is what food is. This is what lunch is. This right. much food, right? They visualize it. But then I actually you do a little calorie count. It's like, oh my god, you're not eating anything. You're on literally yeah. a starvation diet. Yeah. And people have to know you have to eat more, right? You, have, you may have Absolutely. to eat more frequently if you feel full. To I mean, you know. So I mean, eating a plant-based diet is eating lots more food. If you don't like food, it's a bad diet. Yeah. I mean, you know, because. You really have to keep up, or you have to eat really calorically dense foods like, you know, trail mix and smoothies and really ways to pack in calories. Because otherwise, you have to eat a lot. And so then when people, so they're literally like calorie deficient, energy deficient. Right. So no yeah. wonder they don't have the energy. So I say eat more, eat more, and then, of course, they feel fantastic. But, you know, that's a critical thing in making that transition. If you go from a crappy diet to a really healthy diet, right. you need to eat more food.